Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I have a lot of favorites that I wanna to get to. Skin, hair, makeup, lifestyle, health and wellness, etc. You guys know I like to cover a lot of different topics, so let's just dive straight in. And the first thing I wanna do is kind of like a dramatic demonstration. Um, so just go straight into the first favorite. This is by Thermos and it is a coffee like tumbler to go that works so well. Okay, let's appreciate the beautiful shade of pink, like first and foremost. But it just keeps your coffee so hot for so long and it's also completely spill proof. This is full of hot water right now. Like, it's amazing. Cause I sometimes like to put a hot tea in my purse, which is a scary and dangerous thing to do. But if I'm like running errands and I know I want a tea at some point, I just like to have a tea or a coffee to go. And this is amazing. So first thing is this. And to keep, to open it, you just hit this little vacuum seal button and then it pours out of either side. So what I want to show you with this is do like a dramatic demonstration. I got this amazing mug as a gift from my sweet friend, Nora, and I just had to show you how it works. So you pour something hot in. I'm trying to see how much I'm pouring. Is that full? Okay. And as you fill the hot liquid in it, this magical transformation takes place. It's so cool. It converts from a black mug to having this beautiful, magical illustration. It's one of the Thomas Kincaid Disney illustrations as Beauty and the Beast. It's so pretty. It makes me so happy every morning when I have my coffee out of this because I just feel like I'm witnessing a little miracle. It's so cute. And while the coffee is hot, this image stays on. Ugh, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> okay, I just wanted to show you that little piece of magic because it's a good way to start your day. I've been obsessed with green tea lately. This one is by Twining's brand. I always like to get organic tea if I can because I just don't want to like steep pesticides into my drink. Um, so this is organic green tea with jasmine and it's so delicious. I'm on a huge green tea kick. Like I just crave it like no other tea. Even though when I first started having it years ago, I thought it tasted like Nate says it tastes like grass. <laughs> so some green tea can, especially if you overcook it, but this one with jasmine tastes so good. Okay. So we covered a couple top food. That's the only like food type items I have today. Although this smells so good. I could eat it. I probably talked about it last year, but every fall, I just have to mention my favorite fall candle of absolute all time ever by the Nest brand and it's pumpkin chai flavor. And oh my God, it's just so nice. Like forget the rest of the video. I'm just going to sit here and smell this. It just smells so good. It's the perfect fall scent. I love it. I love all of their scents, but this one just, it brings me to my happy place. Okay. Let's dive straight into makeup and a couple skincare type things. So this I've talked about many a time. It's my favorite hand lotion of all time. It's the Rich Girl by Deborah, Deborah Lippman, and it's so good. I found this jumbo bo bottle on hsn.com, the Home Chef Shopping Network. Why I'm like tongue tied. I'm so excited to get all this out there. Um, and it was like I have a whole video on it with the price breakdown and everything, but it was like. 70 something dollars and i just wanted to bring it up again because it's on sale right now for 50 something dollars sorry i forgot the exact numbers but it's an even better deal right now than usual by the way i hope those of you who know my channel already know this goes without saying but nothing is sponsored none of these things were pr gifts i just like to share my honest review with you guys so that's what i always do but anyway this is something i'm obsessed obsessed with and I had to let you guys know about the good deal. So, and it was an excuse to put on some hand lotion, which I do 800 million times a day. <laughs> okay, this, I don't remember if I've ever spoke about this before, but it has to be said, this is the best essence ever. Okay, another one of my friends, Anat, has such good, like spot on recommendations. And she told me, well, she gave me this essence as a gift and it's by Secret of Sahara Huxley, the like, K hey, beauty brand. And it changed the essence game for me. It's not like any other essence I've ever seen. It's like a milky, I believe they call it an oil essence. So it's very, very hydrating. Put some on my hand for you. And it's, 
It's funny because you would think I would like pure water-like essences because I talked recently how I like my cellar waters that are like pure and water-like, but something about this is so nice. Well, it smells incredible, not in like an overly fragranced way, but just in an awesome way, like in a good, pure kind of way. <laughs> And it's so hydrating and it, the whole point of an essence is to like hydrate and prep your skin for all the steps to come so it absorbs better and this just knocks it out of the ballpark. So this quickly became my favorite essence of all time and I just want to tell you about it. In fact, I took it out of my routine because I wanted to save those last couple drops to show you guys and my skin immediately got like dull and tight and dry in the mornings which it hasn't been ever since I've been using that so I was like immediately like wow that makes a huge step in a huge difference as a step in my skincare so love this stuff highly recommend it okay next a perfume you guys know i'm a huge perfume lover this one is by the line juliet has a gun and it's the first one of their perfumes i've ever smelled and it's called moscow mule ah <sighs> it smells so good in fact i don't have any perfume on so i can put this on i wish you could smell it though it is citrusy. I love citrusy scents. It's also a little bit floral, just crisp. It's inspired by the Moscow Mule cocktail, so it has some of those notes in it, but I just think it smells so good. If you've smelled Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, I think it's in the same family as that, which is another one of my top favorites. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, on to a couple of makeup things. So I've been loving the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I almost don't feel like it should be called a CC cream because it's so, like the coverage is bomb.com slash coverage. <laughs> I think Nate is just coming in. Hi, honey. Hello. You wanna come say hi to the constituency? Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's just so pretty. I just put some on my hand and it's like my hand just became completely flawless. Best coverage ever. I get it in light. Um, I feel like the colors run kind of dark. Are you trying to come in? Say hi. Aww. Hello. Hi, baby. Love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that very important hubby interruption. Okay, so I just want to bring up how much I love this, but how much I don't love the same exact thing, but the illumination version, even though it's in the cuter, pinker packaging. It's really strange. Like, I, I usually put this on with my hands because this is what I use, like, when I'm not in the mood to do a full foundation with a beauty blender. And after I was putting this on, dang, did I not leave enough to show you with? Really wanted to show you this weird phenomenon. But like throughout the day, I was noticing my hands had legit glitter on them. <laughs> and I was like, where is this glitter coming from? And it was like getting on stuff. And I finally realized there was like glitter in this and that is the illumination. That said, it doesn't look that like sparkly or weird on your skin. I don't know if this is gonna pick up at all. I got the tiniest drop out, so it probably won't show. But my palms would be like all glittery and weird for the rest of the day. So I don't know what's up with that, but it's enough to just make me stick to the original one, which is so, so good. I love the coverage. I could legitimately use it instead of foundation. It's great. And I think before Nate came in, I was just saying, um, I get light because I feel like their colors run a little bit dark, which is nice when you want to look a little, like if you have a tan, <laughs> you boost your color. This I shared on Instagram. I'm so in love with this. It's a Marc Jacobs lipstick. This packaging is just so gorgeous. It's like a 1950s mid-century modern lipstick tube, I feel like, and it's a like typewriter beige. I don't know, little things like that I love. And then the color of the lipstick itself is so pretty. It's a peachy, pinky nude. I have it on now, but that was a while ago that I put it on. The shade is called In The Mood. And you see, it's just so pretty. I just love this exact, it's the kind of shade that I'm always chasing. So I'm always happy when I find that. All right, I think that was all, no. Two more eyeshadows. I finally got these from Glossier. Look how cute this packaging is. I love the like test tube. It's just so cute, these little plastic test tubes. So this is their liquid eyeshadow. It's called Lid Star and the shades that I got are called Cub and Slip. So let me swatch these for you because they're so pretty. They aren't as pigmented. Like, I don't know how much you can see. Like what I'm wearing now um, is this one by Essence called Metal Shock. 
Like this is very, very strong metallic. I love it. In fact, let's call it a favorite. I forgot to get it out, but I really like that one. And it's such a good price point. So these are like slightly less pigmented than that, but that's not really a bad thing. It's just, you know, a different type of occasion or look. So let me show you how these come out. They're just creamy. I really love a liquid eyeshadow and then sometimes I'll set it with a similar eyeshadow and a powder. Okay, so this one is Cub. It's more of like a rose gold. And then this one's like a light pink, shimmery pink called Slip. So cute. I love all the colors. I love almost everything from Glossier, which reminds me, I need to grab one more of their things to show you later. But anyway, super happy with those. And then this one I wanted to talk about, but I almost feel bad talking about it because I think it's kind of hard to get now. This is the most beautiful makeup palette ever. It's by Tarte. It's the Aspen Ovard palette. I don't know who she is. Who is she? Is she like an influencer that they teamed up with? I don't know, but it's so pretty. And I think it's kind of hard to get because I had to order it directly from Tarte. It was sold out at Ulta. It's just gorgeous. I love these colors. I used it today, except for the gold. The gold is the one fail in this whole palette, which was such a bummer to me because I love gold eyeshadow. See, it swatches fine. You know what, maybe I should give it another try because it did just swatch nicely. See if you can see it there. But I just felt like it went on kind of blotchy when I, well, we'll play, we'll test this later. I was thinking about doing a whole video with this, but then I was thinking maybe I shouldn't because I think it's all sold out. So let me know if you guys are, want to know more about it or not, but it smells so good. Like it has this like sweet chocolatey scent. There's a beautiful blush. That's again what I have on beautiful highlighter and then all of these different eyeshadow shades are so my favorite style so i love all that okay another beauty thing i finally got the blow dryer of my dreams this is by t3 it's obviously my favorite color it's so pretty doesn't it look like a beautiful pink rocket ship <laughs> it's so gorgeous i love this like jet engine in the back and it just does a phenomenal job. Obviously T3 has a great reputation for a reason. It just does such a killer job. The buttons are even pink, dries my hair so fast, which my hair is really long and I have a lot of it. So it helps to get this done so much faster. And then just to feel cute and pink while I do it. I love this. Like I actually look forward to washing my hair and drying it now. It's so nice. And I feel like it's gentler on my hair because it's not, like singeing it with the heat but it is really powerful so less heat gets the job done just as fast in a way how cute is this all right i want to move into a couple lifestyle things so sorry that was loud <laughs> you guys know i've been into doing races virtual running races in this app called yes fit another one of my friends through youtube told me about it this is my Cinderella medal, the first race that I did. So they have a lot of different races. They're all virtual, like meaning you run them on your own time at your own pace. You can just walk, you can do it over the course of a long time and you just log it in the app. And then when you finish, they send you a medal or a shirt, depending on what you choose. So obviously the first one I did was Cinderella. That was an 18.5 mile race. And I did it in the course of like basically three mile chunks. So way more doable if you're training for longer distance but you're not there yet but you still want to like motivate yourself i was so motivated to get this adorable medal <laughs> and i just love it it's so cool and so i immediately did my second race with them obviously i'm just going through all the princess themes the next one i did was this mermaid look how beautiful i just got this in the mail today i just finished it they, they mail the medal out, like basically the day you finish the race, which is very rewarding. This one was 22.2 miles. This, this medal is just so beautiful. I love it. Ah, it makes me so proud. It's like such a cool thing you can do kind of on your own time to motivate you to train. And even this is pretty. It looks like mermaid scales. And then they make a virtual race course. So like, for instance, this one was in Denmark where the real mermaid statue is. <laughs> And every time you log your workout, they email you like a screenshot of where, you know, where in Denmark you would be on the virtual course as you go. So that's just kind of fun to look forward to when you finish your workout. 
and I love it. I'm already on my third one with them, which is Beauty and the Beast themed. So it's really been motivating me. I just thought I'd share it. Something else that's really, 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 really motivated me. Talked about it before in my last like vlog, but this is a book called The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. And it so good, rocked my world. Loved it and it totally motivated me to start getting up at 6 a.m., which I just never thought I would be sitting here telling you that I'm not a morning person, I'm a total night owl. But like it says, um, you can transform your life before 8 a.m. and it feels so good. Like by 8 a.m. every single day, the amount I have accomplished is awesome. And it's stuff that's like prioritizing yourself, your self-development, growing as a person so that you can be the kind of person that achieves the things you want to achieve. Like we tend to put self-development kind of last because it feels like the thing that we can push off. But he tells you like prioritize it first thing in the day and it's just so powerful and I totally love it. So a couple things that have been helping me with that is journaling. I got this, it's a five year journal, which is a really cool premise where every day for five years, you just write a little blurb about what happened that day. And it's so cool because over, so like this day is November 21st and each year like you go through it. So it starts to pile up your entries on that day every year and you can see exactly what happened and like how your life unfolded. And it's just, it's a nice short commitment, but it gets you journaling. And I think this will be so cool to look back on. Like I picture my future self reading this and I just think that's so cool. Okay, one last thing in regard to that is meditating every morning. I love to meditate. <laughs> And I have been using this meditation bench. I got this on Amazon and it's like a slanted bench because ideally when you meditate, you have your hips, you know, at sort of an angle so that your spine is aligned. And this makes it so much easier. You're slanted at the right angle and then you can put your legs under here, like under you. <laughs> I'm gonna do a meditation video very soon and show you what I'm talking about but it gets the, your weight off of your legs. So like if you have knee problems like I do, it's so much better, but it still puts you in a proper meditation position and it's really cushiony. So it's just such a weird little thing, but I really, really love it. And look how portable it is. Like you can take it when you travel, helps you make your meditation habit a priority. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to get through these so fast. Last two things. I got these shirts from my friend Megan's shop. She has the bling bling on Etsy. Wait. I'm gonna save that one for last, I'm so excited. Look how cute this is for fall. Oh, I love this. I have just the video in mind to wear this for, but it's a cute little eyelash jack-o'-lantern. All her shirts are so soft and like buttery. I get a medium size. I'm pretty tall, they're unisex, but um, you know, pick your size accordingly. But so I asked her if she could do a custom shirt for me and look. Isn't this so cute? I love this. The font, the colors, whole thing is just so milk and honey. I totally love it. She's going to put it in her shop. So if you guys want one too, you can get them. I'll put the link down below. But I was just so happy that she was able to hook us up with this design because I don't know anything about t-shirts and she has a whole amazing shop. So she is the expert. <laughs> I'm so grateful for that. I totally forgot I said I was going to show you one other thing, which is this Glossier face mist. It's my favorite, one of my top favorite face mists if you saw my video. But I just refilled it and I was so thrilled with the way they repackaged it. So first of all, this bottle is just even cuter. Oh, look at that. It's like translucent milky pink. Oh, I love the bottle. <laughs> you guys know how I get with packaging. And then also it has a continuous mister. Let's see if it will, can you see that? Probably, I probably just got the lens <laughs> dirty. <laughs> Nate's laughing at me. But it, it's a much more fine, I bet that was really cute too. It's a much more fine mist and I just like the way it distributes so much better. This is more of a traditional spray where it's kind of a heavy flow, <laughs> so to speak. So I really love this one. And that is everything. I hope I didn't take too long to plow through it all, but thank you guys so much for watching. I love doing these kinds of videos with you. I can't wait to do more soon. So hit subscribe. I have new videos every single week and I talk to you guys in the comments down below. And I think that's it. I'll see you soon. Bye.